stared at the blinking light and racked his brain with any idea as to why Buckley would be calling. They had not spoken since the trial of Carl Lee Haley, and if their paths never again crossed, both would have been content. A year earlier, during Buckley's re-election, Jake had quietly supported his opponent, as had most of the lawyers in claim, if not the entire 22nd Judicial District. Over a 12-year career, Buckley had managed to alienate almost every lawyer in the five-county district. The payback was sweet. And now the former hard-charging DA with statewide ambitions was stuck at home in Smithfield, an hour down the road, where he was rumored to be puttering around a small office on Main Street, doing wills and deeds and no-fault divorces. Hello, Governor, Jake said in a deliberate effort to resume hard feelings. Three years had not diminished his low regard for the man. Well, hello, Jake, Buckley said politely. I was hoping we could forego the cheap shots. Sorry, Rufus. Didn't mean anything by it. But of course he did. At one point not too long ago, a lot of people called him Governor. What are you up to these days? Just practicing law, taking it easy. I do more oil and gas than anything else. Sure you do. Buckley had spent most of his adult life trying to convince folks that his wife's family's natural gas leases were the source of immense wealth. They were not. The Buckleys lived far below their potentials. That's nice. What's on your mind? Just got off the phone with a Memphis lawyer named Booker Sistrom. I believe you've met him. Seems to be a nice guy. Anyway, he's associating me as Mississippi Counsel in the Seth Hubbard case. Why would he pick you, Rufus? Jake asked impulsively as a shoulder said. Reputation, I guess. No. Sistrom had done his homework and found the one lawyer in the entire state who hated Jake with a passion. Jake could only imagine the vile things Buckley had said about him. I'm not sure where you fit, Rufus. We're working on that. Booker wants you off the case to begin with so he can take over. He mentioned perhaps requesting a change of venue for the trial. He says Judge Antley has an obvious bias against him, so he'll ask the judge to step aside. These are just preliminary matters, Jake. As you know, Sistrunk is a high-powered litigator with plenty of resources. I suppose that's why he wants me on this team. Well, welcome aboard, Rufus. I doubt if Sistrunk told you the rest of the story, but he has already tried to get me kicked out. Didn't work, because Judge Atley can read as well as anyone. The will specifically names me as the attorney for the estate. Atley is not going to accuse himself, nor will he move the trial out of plan. You boys are pissing in the wind and pissing off every potential juror in the county. Pretty stupid in my opinion, Rufus, and the stupidity is killing our chances. We'll see. You're inexperienced, Jake, and you need to step aside. Oh, sure, you've had a handful of nice verdicts in criminal cases, but this ain't criminal, Jake. This is complicated high-dollar civil litigation, and you're already in over your head. 